Really haven't got long, I'm afraid, right? Um, we've got a Skype call coming through, and it's, uh, well, what can we do for you? Advice, really. Right. Um, I'm a bit worried about my wife and her lawyer. I think there might be something going on between them. What, the lawyer who's representing your wife while she sues you for divorce? Yeah, that's the one. <laughs> Which is my point. I don't know why you care anymore. Well, OK. Slippers. In what way? Oh! Hi, Steve. Hello. How's it going, man? Um, thanks for doing this. Uh, you obviously got my email um, about the guest appearances. I'm not just saying this because I've got a financial stake in the show. Uh, I really think it'd be good for your career to do the occasional guest appearance in the office. Yeah, obviously, um, you, still, you know, still do your films and everything as well. Of you? course. But, you know, if you did agree to even infrequent guest spots, the network said they would guarantee two more seasons, um, which is obviously incredibly lucrative yeah. uh, for everyone. Yeah, yeah, um, you know what, let me think about it. I will definitely consider it. Cheers, man. Great. Brilliant. We're in LA um, Thursday, if you want to do dinner and have a chat. Oh yeah, that sounds great. I'd love to. Brilliant. See you then. See ya. Okay, good. See you later. Bye. Bye. I must say, makes me laugh a bit that he's a household name because of the show, and now I've got to beg him to do the odd guest spot. He should be begging me. <laughs> Luckiest fucking actor in the world. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Are you still there, Steve? Yep. Sorry, man. I, I thought I'd, uh, I thought I'd hung up. No. No, you didn't. I just turned the screen off. I thought I'd hung up. I really, um... Do you still want to do dinner? Mm, no. Be awkward, wouldn't it? Yeah, that would be. Are you going to think about the guest appearances? Ah, oh, no. Dead in the water, that one. It is it's definitely dead. There's no way that's going to happen. Okay, cheers. Bye then. Bye. Bye bye now. Why were you listening? I'll tell you why he was listening. Because he's an actor. And like all actors, he's a little paranoid, insecure little fucker. Are you still listening, Steve? Oh, I am. I am still listening to you talking. OK. You should be listening, not if you're not friends anymore, mate. OK. S Steve, before you go, I'm, I'm a big fan. Hey, that's really nice. Thanks. You could always hang up this time to make absolutely sure. That's true. OK. Bye. Right, he's gone, that's the difference. Is it yeah, definitely, yeah, because I was pressing the wrong thing. Love Steve Carell. Do you? That's true. Yeah. yeah. Everyone loves him, though. Not really, no. Mm, but it's an idiotic thing to say. With six billion people on the planet, how are they all going to love one person? A lot of them do. I mean, look at the American said. version of The Office. Yeah, Every you week, look at it. What is it, ten million viewers, I guess? Ten million people. Watching him. Tune in and see my name at the end of the credits. Watch it for him, though, don't they? Not really, no, because it wouldn't exist without me and he wouldn't exist without it. Ipso facto. I don't know what you're talking about anymore. Well, all right, well, he, he's got likability, then, as he's, he's just a popular chap. You're more of an acquired taste. Not everyone's into everything you do. My camera, right? Absolutely hated extras. Just thought it was a sitcom where famous people pop up as themselves. 